Today, I'm going to show you how this big blue machine took my home business from surviving to thriving. In this video, I will answer your comments and questions. I'll show you how I ended up with this RM laser specifically. I'll give you the cost and a breakdown of how much revenue it has helped my home business produce. We'll look at the long term durability of it. I'll show you as many products and examples I have made with it, and we will take a look at what some other RM laser users are doing and saying about their machines. So how did I end up with this RM laser? The owner of RM laser, a man that goes by the name Ray, contacted me after he saw my eBay CO2 laser that I posted back in August of 2020. He had a laser that was damaged in transit, and it had a cracked glass laser tube. He asked if I would be interested in replacing the laser tube and comparing it with my own CO2 laser. I felt no pressure at all from him. He genuinely just wanted someone who could showcase his product with no strings attached. This all happened in the midst of my eBay CO2 laser springing a water leak in the middle of a huge production job, arcing high voltage electricity to the water, thus cracking the glass laser tube and frying the power supply. Oh my God, no. Putting it out of commission when I so desperately needed it. A very wise man once said, one is none and two, is one. This was the point that I realized having a second machine is a redundancy that my business needed desperately. I have received quite a few comments asking for an update on how my RM laser is holding up since posting that first video over a year ago. So I figured I would share my experiences with this machine after having it for over 17 months now. Here is a quick look at the logged hours on the machine, where we can see how much use my machine has had so far. It has 1,016 hours or 42 days of time with the machine on overall. 453 hours or 19 solid days of actual run time where the laser head is moving around and doing a job and 206 hours or eight and a half days of laser burning time where the laser tube is active in sending the laser beam to engrave or cut. For a total of 2,873 laser jobs in just 17 months, which would average to about 169 jobs per month or 42 jobs every week. And looking at those numbers, you might be thinking, wow, I expected that runtime would be much higher considering how many jobs have been completed. But you got to remember, this machine can be run extremely fast compared to some of the slower, lower end laser machines being offered, like my eBay laser or some of the other offerings you can find on Amazon. I use this laser in my woodworking shop and it has been an essential tool in helping me produce a huge percentage of my overall income from products that I have sold through my home business. I promise I will give you the actual dollar amounts and proof in this video if you decide to stick around. I do believe there is a misconception that owning a laser is a get rich quick scheme. And though I can say that if utilized properly, it sure can bring in some incredible return on your investment. But that does not come without a good business plan, trial and error, marketing know-how, and most of all, hard work and determination. All of which I think could deserve their own dedicated videos. All of this to say that simply buying a machine like this will not make you rich. It takes a lot of hard work and it requires the right person and personality behind it. So please hear me out when I say you should really consider the cost to risk benefits when purchasing something as costly as a machine like this. One of the things that I really appreciate about this laser is how it's helped me to be more efficient and effective in my work. 
With its precision, accuracy, power, and speed, I've been able to create intricate designs and details on my wood products that I wouldn't have been able to do by hand. This has helped me to stand out in a competitive market and offer unique products to my customers. Here, I'm gonna show you as many products that I have produced and sold with the assistance of this machine. I originally started my business with a scroll saw and a few woodworking tools. Today, I still utilize a large number of woodworking tools, but have given up the scroll saw work to the laser. And it has allowed me to expand my business into what it has become today. Okay, so let's go through a bunch of examples of different products that I have made using my RM laser. Here we can see some trophies that I made for a local car show. Next, a very popular product has been these military plaques for people in the Coast Guard, Army, and different services like that. This is another military piece, but these are big rounds cut out and a piece like this can hold something like 70 challenge coins. This client here sent me a picture of a challenge coin and asked if I could turn the coin into the entire plaque. This piece here has multiple layers. The first layer is pallet wood that is all edge glued together and then the profile is cut out with the laser. Then the second layer with the wings is cut from some three quarter inch plywood. Then in the center there, there is a piece of aluminum that I cut into a circle with some woodworking tools. I spray painted the aluminum black and then used the laser to remove the black spray paint to reveal the aluminum underneath. Signs for families are always very popular items and there's templates that you can use and find online to make getting their names and designs created quite quickly and easily. I'll leave a link to the online template creator that I used for this sign in the description. I believe it's something called like Suncatcher Studio or something like that. This past year, I was lucky enough to have one client who wanted to order over 60 Christmas ornaments to give away as gifts. So I really love running big productions like this piece here. This was real easy after creating the image in the shape of the ornament. All I had to do was engrave, cut, sand it a little bit, spray some lacquer on them, tie a string on the top, and then these pieces were ready to go. These jobs here are not something that I take on very often. This is where a client will bring me a material and they want me to engrave it. Most of the time I tell them no, just in case something does go wrong. I don't want the liability of not being able to replace their pieces. But this person insisted that it was okay if any pieces did get messed up. And luckily with these trays made from wood from an old church organ, no mistakes were made. Restaurants, bars, and places like that are always needing custom signage. I have been lucky to be connected with a small chain restaurant called Top Dog Tavern and they've used me in the past to create a lot of signs for their restaurants. This is a real simple piece. You can go to Lowe's, you can purchase a round like this that's already cut, it's already rounded over. I just stained the wood. Then the raised up portion is just pieces that were cut out with the laser and then glued onto that round. I've had good luck with rolling pins, cutting boards, and slate coasters. This is a product that I helped to prototype and design with a local baking company. They wanted these rocking horse boxes that they put their cookies in and they sell to people as gifts for newborn babies and things like that. I've been amazed by the success of these QR code engravings on plywood. It's really the simplest product. It has very little touch time. It just pretty much requires a little bit of sanding and then a coat of lacquer, then it's pretty much ready to go. With this product, I was lucky enough to land a really big client. I was contacted by one of the developers creating a brand new hotel in Salt Lake City, Utah. I tried to make a really good first impression with them. They emailed me their design, and then I overnighted the next day some examples to them, and I think that's what helped me to land that job but later on you will hear me refer to this job as the hotel job as it was a big portion of my total income from the past year i also get lucky enough to have 
restaurants and bars purchase these as pieces that they can put on tables for, for menus where people can scan the QR code, they can see the menus. And what's great about this, kind of in a bad way, but these things get stolen or lost quite frequently. So there's a lot of returning customers with this type product. And with that simple design, I offer different sizes. Majority are the four inch size, eight inch, 12 inch, 16 inch. And I believe sometimes I even get orders for 24 inch signs like these. It's another look at some of the pieces that the hotel job included. Some were these four by four inch maple blocks with a menu. Each room at the hotel received one of these small four inch coasters. And then of course there's a few concierge signs that are around the hotel and also these reserved signs that they ordered. And here we can get a look at the large quantity of items that the hotel purchased. I believe there was over a thousand items total and they all ended up in these three big boxes here that each weighed probably about 70 pounds a piece. And I just scoured the internet for some videos online and I was able to locate a few of my pieces online. Here you can see one of the QR codes in the room. And uh, at the restaurant, you can see on the table over there, there's one of my blocks there for the menu that people scan. So it's pretty cool to be able to see that, even though I haven't been able to visit the hotel yet. This is a large negative engraving on a big old slab of pine. And if you've been following along with my videos, you might be happy to know that this is some pine from the trees that I had dropped on my property here. that we had cut up and now you can see that like I hoped these trees would be eventually turned into product. You've probably seen lots of signs and products with the name Fieldstone on it. This is a local client of mine. It is a nationwide clothing brand. They have the signs featured along with their hats, shirts, and more at hundreds of retailers across the country. Now I'm not here to sugarcoat it. The products that I make for them do require a lot of hands-on time. Painting, sanding, taping, and the bases require a lot of woodworking know-how and tooling. But at the numbers they order, it makes all the touch time well worth it. When we get to my income breakdown, a large portion of it can be contributed to this client alone. As you can see, this laser has handled daily work in my dirty, dusty production woodworking shop. Sawdust, grime, drastic temperature changes, and the humidity found here in Georgia in the summer months. You would think a laser with all these crucial mechanical and electrical components would not last very long at all. On top of all of that, I am definitely not the best about routine maintenance and cleanings. I've been really impressed with its durability and how it's held up over time, despite running it at 100% power and speed for the majority of my work. I have not seen any decrease in power, and I believe that is because the authentic Recky glass laser tube that you get with a RM laser. There's even a sticker on the tube that says, this tube will outlast your laser machine. Recently, I did a very deep cleaning on the laser. Actually, the first ever cleaning to this extent. And I must have been a little over ambitious on where and what I was blowing the sawdust into and around on the electrical components. I noticed that the main controller started to flash after being on for a few minutes. I wasn't sure what was going on, so I sent a quick video to Ray at RM Laser, and you can reach him through email, or an app called WeChat. He was able to quickly help me diagnose the issue and it turned out that nothing was actually broken. During my cleaning, I accidentally bumped one of the electrical connections and it just needed to be pressed back in. I was really impressed with his customer service and how he was able to help me get the laser back up and running in no time. This kind of support is not something I could expect from my mysterious eBay seller. Ray really knows his machines, and he stands behind the name and the products that he is selling.
I've tracked down a few other users who have purchased an RM laser. Let's take a look at what they are doing or saying about their machines. First up, we have Amy at Rust and Shimmer. I can tell she has been very successful with what she's been doing here. As you can see, just the high quantity of products that she's been putting out. I remember seeing her post about these around Christmas time and she just kept selling out of these Grinch Christmas ornaments. I reached out to Amy and asked how she's doing and what she's doing currently. And right now she's making these for Mother's Day. You can see these flowers are cut out with the laser and put together. These are looking really beautiful. Nice job, Amy. Amy does a great job incorporating hand painting in her works and it really gives it a nice human touch. Here's a video of her laser cutting out the flowers. Next up, we have Derek at Deacon's Woodshop. And again, you can find him on Instagram as well. He's been running a successful business while also being a full-time teacher. Uh, I've talked with him before, and I always tell him how impressed I am that he's able to do all of this. Be a family man, be a teacher, and run a successful business like this. A lot of his work early on was done with CNC, and I think that's what he does a lot of. But recently... He has also purchased himself an RM laser. And Derek was able to get this sweet black unit here. I don't know. He must have gone back and forth with Ray and was able to get a unit that looked like this. Very cool. And here we can see Derek was able to engrave on these whiskey bottles. Super cool that you're able to engrave even with the liquid inside the bottle. That's something that me and him were not quite sure if it would work or not. But apparently it worked really well. Here's a close up on one of those whiskey bottles and you can see just the amount of detail that you're able to achieve with the laser. Looks like he's even engraved some bottle openers here. Here are some more examples of pieces that Derek is doing with his laser. Here we have some really great products that would do great around Easter time. These letter name banks are great. You've got acrylic that can be cut on the laser and I'm Betting that the case itself was probably cut on his CNC, but it's something that you could do with the laser if you did it in layers. This is a super great idea. It looks like he's basically just laser engraving and cutting what could be coloring pages. It looks like down there in the corner, you can see one of his children coloring in some of these pieces that he's cut out. That's a great idea. Lastly, we have Steve, who was nice enough to leave some comments on my last video about the RM laser. And he shared about his experience purchasing directly from Ray, which I think is very valuable as I know there is definitely a lot of nervousness around purchasing from a company overseas. And here we can see Steve says, I'm hoping to purchase this with a credit card, tried to purchase with a money transfer. However, my bank called me and said that they thought it was a scam. And if I really wanted this, I should use a credit card because they can get my money back if there is an issue. I've talked to Ray at RM Laser and I really believe this is the laser to purchase. I just can't seem to get a link to enter my credit card. Anyone else have this issue? I know Steve had a little back and forth trying to get payment over to Ray, but eventually he was able to work it out. Here I found an update in the comments. Steve says, payment update. I worked with Ray and Yetta, chose to pay the 4.3% and pay with a credit card. RM Laser is 100% trustworthy. They also have fantastic customer service. I received my RM1390 and the quality of this machine is outstanding. If you're looking for a CO2 laser, you can't go wrong with RM Laser or the company. And I replied back, so glad to hear it, Steve, and thanks for giving everyone an update. All right, now let's talk money. How much revenue has this machine contributed to my small business since owning it and putting it as my main production machine? Big Blue was delivered August 2021. I had it fixed, set up, and running all jobs by October. So it has been contributing to my business now for 18 months total. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my, to my filters here. Shout out to Mint. Not sponsored, but I love this app. You can combine all of your accounts, financials into one place, and it is just such an easy way to get everything organized. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that custom date range. 
and I've also got it filtered to just income, which is gonna give us just the physical product sales here in my accounts. The total revenue from physical products sold over 18 months was $100,264.04. This does not include business expenses such as material cost and other miscellaneous expenses that go along with running my business, so please keep that in mind. But Etsy fees and shipping expenses are already subtracted from the amounts shown. Running a business like this can be quite a roller coaster ride. For example, my worst month was in December, and if we look at that, we can see the total for that month was only $2,006. I don't know about you, but for me, that's not enough money to survive on or support my family. But in comparison, my best month was in August of 2022, and that total was $18,682. And to be honest, the amount of work during that time just about killed me. It was a lot of work. And like I mentioned earlier, this amount here did include the hotel job that I landed. And if we sort it by merchants, we can get a little bit better breakdown. Here we can see $43,000 came from check deposits. So this is going to include a lot of my local clients. So that would be like the school that I make pieces for, Fieldstone, the cookie school, and other clients like that. 26,000 came from sales on Etsy. And like I said earlier, the fees and shipping are already subtracted from this amount here. Majority of Venmo is also local clients. And here you can see the hotel job got its own category because the total for that job did come out to $8,365. Purchases made through PayPal came to $3,500. Other is also going to be payments coming through PayPal and such. Smaller amounts that didn't get categorized. This $2,000 here is just a job from Fieldstone that didn't get bundled with everything else. And then $650 came from, oh, well, I think this might be a good place to stop with the detailed reporting. With my total revenue at $100,265.04, this gives me an average of $5,555 every month if we averaged it out. Big Blue has been an essential tool in helping me to grow my home business, and I am excited to see how it will continue to help me in the future. Overall, I'm really happy with my RM690 CO2 laser, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who is looking for a reliable, high-quality laser with incredible production and speed capabilities. I think these lasers are great for people who have the space who can handle the maintenance that comes along with CO2 lasers, maintaining the water cooling, aligning and cleaning mirrors, and cleaning and replacing the lenses. If you are looking for a professional quality machine, RM Laser is a product and company you can trust. If you have been following my business, you may have noticed that my online store, Chad's Custom Creations, has been temporarily closed for the past 12 months and I have ceased essentially all local commissions. And with that, I am making more money than ever before by killing this business that I've been growing for the past 10 years of my life. But the reasoning for all of that will have to come in a future video. So until then, you can catch me on the next one.